The Broadway smash hit Dear Evan Hansen has raked in all kinds of awards. Six Tonys, a Grammy, and the Olivier Award for Best Musical. And after six years on Broadway, it's now celebrating a first. Zachary Noah Pizer is the first Asian-American performer to play the lead role of Evan Hansen. The musical brings mental health front and center through the lens of a bullied teen who's trying to cope with social anxiety. Joining us now is Zachary Noah Pizer and Dr. Harold Kopowitz. He, he is the president of the Child Mind. Institute. Good to have both of you with us. Zachary, I want to start with you. And just first of all, what does it mean for you to be the first Asian American performer to play the lead in such a beloved, well respected musical like Dear Evan Hansen? It means everything to me, you know, um, especially in the recent wave of anti Asian hate and the sentiment in our country. I think right now it can feel a lot like being Asian simply puts a target on your back. So being able to represent in this way, to be able to tell this story on the Broadway stage at the Music Box Theater every single night uh, really means everything to me to be able to give that voice to our community. It's so important. In addition to it being right now Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, the API Month, May is also Mental Health Awareness Month. That's a big theme in Dear Evan Hansen because it deals with some heavy issues. And that's why we're chatting with Dr. Koplowitz, who's here with us. T talk to us about your relationship with this story, how you and your organization became involved. Well, the Child Mind Institute is the only independent nonprofit in the United States that's exclusively dedicated to transforming the lives of kids who have a mental health or learning disorder. And mental health disorders are the most common disorders of childhood and adolescence. So at, while the show was in uh, its creation, Stacy Mindich, the executive producer, asked me and several others from the Child Mind Institute to start watching the show, look at the script, to make sure that it was authentic, that the symptoms of social anxiety were well represented, and that it was a true uh, example of what so many teenagers go through. And I, I think considering what we hear about these mass shootings, we should remember that while mental health disorders are common and real and treatable, people who have them are very unlikely to hurt others. They're more likely to hurt themselves, but um, they're very rarely violent toward others. So important to talk about this and to talk about it in a smart, responsible way. Zachary, you have a history with this musical. You were an original cast member in Dear Evan Hansen's international pre premiere, which was in Toronto. This is a tough character to play. You go through a whole spectrum of emotions throughout it. It is, if you haven't seen it, bring Kleenex. What is it about this character and this story that, that speaks to you? Well... This show is so special for so many reasons. You know, the music is spectacular. The story is incredible. The relationships, the characters, they're all relatable in some way. I know I definitely relate to Evan. I mean, middle school Zach had a really tough time belonging, figuring out where he belonged in kind of uh, the system. Um, but this show, the reason why it is so special and singular is because it creates space to talk about mental health. Um, and that was one of the main reasons why it spoke so much to me. You know, uh, being able to talk about mental health at any age, but especially when you're young, can be so difficult because it's uncomfortable to talk about our feelings or simply because you just don't have the vocabulary to. And this show is so special because it creates that space to start that conversation. And Zach, you have to pour your heart and soul into every performance, which, which I know can't be easy. What's that like for you? It is challenging, you know, and I am definitely more tired than I've ever been doing another show. But at the same time, I am so fulfilled. It is so rewarding being able to be on that stage and tell this story. Dr. Koplowitz, uh, quickly on this last one, for young people who are struggling with their mental health, what's the main thing you want them to take away from this story? We really want people to, know, to kids know they're not alone. And the first thing they should do is raise their hand and ask for help. Talk to a friend, talk to your parents, talk to a teacher. You can't get help without asking for it. And help works. Uh, these are the most treatable disorders in all of medicine. 80% of kids get better if they get the right treatment. So please, don't be silent. Ask for help. Important message. Thank you both for joining us. Zachary Noah Pizer and Dr. Harold Koplowitz. Thank you both. Take care. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.